Hi, welcome to Mixed Media Creations with me, Creative Katie, Karen Burchell. Follow me on Instagram, www.instagram.com backslash Creative Katie. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to select the option to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. Today we have Index Card a Day, ICAD number 26. It's called Dragonflies Appear. And in it, I am going to use burlap to make the embellishment and focal point. Links to products can be found in the description box below. So I decided that I wanted to do a dragonfly and I was take getting inspiration from those little birds that had burlap. So I decided to get out my burlap and create the focal image or an embellishment with it. And I promise you that I will be making a video that'll show the ins and outs of that and all the things that I discovered along the way. But what I'm going to do here is just make a quick, easy background. I want a sky um, background and in, you know, just right off to my, the side of my desk, I have this coffee filler to, with green and Prussian blue and splattered with gold. And I think it's perfect. Now, no need to use a complete, nicely gessoed one. I have this one here that was a mistake. It might look familiar. If you've watched a previous video, this was a fail attempt. And I decided that I would just cover it. So I'm just using gel medium to put on this coffee filter. Now this co coffee filters, and I've talked about this before, coffee filters are absolutely amazing. They take color in an interesting way and they collage and add so much interesting texture. It almost makes it too easy. I'm in the search of finding the jumbo size coffee filters because I want to have more of it. You can see the young, the great texture that it creates. It also makes for a very quick and easy background. So a quick, easy way to cut off when you've gone over the edge is flip it over to the other side. And I know that sounds pretty basic, but when you're focused on all the things as you're, when you are, when you're learning, I just thought I'd throw that little tidbit out. So absolutely love, love, love this background. So here is the burlap dragonfly that I cut out. And I just got a clip art dragonfly and cut out the wings and the body, just kind of by eye, really. And this one is burlap. Now, I don't know if I'm going to paint it bronze or gold. And, you know, quite honestly... You know, I wanted this to have some iridescence, so that's why I'm going with the metallics. And I think the gold will show up really, really well. So I'm just pushing this paint into the burlap. And burlap, you know, it's material, it's fairly thirsty, so it does take a little bit of doing to push it in. And I'm doing the other side as well. Now, when I had traced this out, I traced with my Stabilo All Pencil, and you can see it's making it blue. My original plan was to make the dragonfly wings blue, so I didn't care if I used the Stabilo. I knew it would be masked. So I need to dry this and put on another coat. Now, the quote that I'm using is, dragonflies appear when angels are near. And, you know, I've, I've heard the symbolism of dragonflies and the connection saying, when you see it, that means a loved one is visiting your yard and visiting you. And recently, my father-in-law passed away, and, and I told my husband this story, and the quote about dragonflies, and then what should appear but dragonfly in our yard. And he's been here, well, I'm thinking it's the same one, all summer long. And I just wanted to make this little mini, you know, for my husband. So now, then I decide, because I've done a, a, a 
an art journal page with the dragonfly earlier, I want to put the a moon in the background. And, you know, this pink dragonfly shows up so nice. The gold one, I thought, didn't. So then I just, I cut out another one and I painted it the aqua color. And now I'm using this Pibio blue-green iridescent to give me that iridescence that I, that you see in dragonfly wings. And this, this totally works. It gives it the iridescence that I wanted it to have. It's interesting when you make videos and you look back afterwards, you see things very differently than when you're in the process of creating. There are things that I like so much better now that I'm looking at it right now that really bothered me while I was in the process. So, you know, I think it's a good idea to take pictures of what you're doing, even if it's just, you know, just stills with your, with your iPhone and sometimes step away because sometimes time helps. I want to edge this dragonfly. So I'm using the makeup sponge and some of the black paint. I'm just going around. I wanted to kind of get some definition and shape a little more. And my makeup sponge is just, you can see it's just kind of crumbling. That's why I, I think, you know, once my, these makeup sponges go, I think I'll just use my cut and dry foam. So I cut out little, um, little antenna and I painted them black as well. And right now, like, I, I absolutely love the teal wings on this. But at the time, I remember thinking that it was very flat and it didn't have enough interest. So I found my quote and it's a little too big. So later on, I'm going to go search and I do find a smaller one. I was thinking that maybe I would just have the composition on here and put the quote on the back, you know, paint the background, do the, do a similar kind of background on the, on the other side of this card, and then put the quote there. And then I had all sorts of ideas about put, framing this on a canvas and different things, and then I reminded myself that this is just an index card a day challenge, so we'll keep it simple. This, I thought this was going to take me really, really a quick video. I knew exactly what I wanted to do, but because I was working with burlap for the first time and I had a few things to figure out. So I just showed you, I cut the circle out of some gel prints or colored papers with my circle punch. And if you don't, you can just have a circle punch. You can trace it with, with any size lid that, that works for you and do that. But I, I t those are the only punches I have. I have two circle punches. So I'm just edging it some more, filling in some shapes. And now I want to assemble the dragonfly. And I decide I'm going to use the Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I don't know if I should put the, bo the body above or below. I've tried it both ways. Both kind of look right, both kind of look wrong. I don't know. I'm just tacking that on. And of course, I didn't wait till it was dry, so then you have to clean up on aisle five, right? So now I'm going to glue the dragonfly down and I don't, I plan not to have this 
lay exactly flat. I want the wings to have some movement and to, you know, kind of be a little 3D. If I find that problematic, I can glue them down it later. Now I need to edge with the black just to frame the index card, the iCAD. Get rid of that white and frame your art. So I was playing around with stencils and getting it on, on the, you know, to get some pattern on the dragonfly wings because I'm thinking, you know, it's just too plain. It's too flat. It's too one tone. Although right now I really like it and I kind of wish I had left it. But so I found a smaller version of the quote in a slightly different font. And I'm going to attach it on here. But it's a little too white for me, so I decide that I'm just going to give it a wash of this aqua paint. So I thin the aqua paint down. Now, when you paint over anything from the laser printer, it is going to, you're going to lose some of the boldness of the black depending on how opaque the paint is and you know how much you how much you thin it so this is just on plain copy paper sometimes i put it on paper that's a little thicker but again this was what was in my stash and you know so far i have done all my icads and you know this is number 26 I've done all of them with sentiments that I already have in my stash. I wanted to do it without having to type out anything new. I've been tempted sometimes, but just edging this again with black. So this whole thing with my hemming and hawing and trying to decide um, how to deal with the burlap took about 40, 40 to 50 minutes and I've sped it up to double time. And some of my experimentation was done off camera. Especially when it had to do with just the burlap. It's a new thing for me to work with and I have tons, I made a list of tons of ideas that I had while working with it. So I'm excited about that upcoming video. If I was doing this dragonfly for me or just for the iCAD, I would have used the pink one. I really like the contrast that was there. So here's a piece of this burlap, and I thought, oh, what would happen if I put some gold on there? And it just kind of wicks out a little bit because it's a porous material. So I decided at this point in time that I'm not going to do that, but I rethink that. So I have my fine liner bottle, and this is acrylic paint in it. And it's acrylic paint that was in another squeeze bottle beforehand. So it's been there for over a year and it was starting to get glumpy inside and was plugging up the, the tip. So in a while, after fighting with this, I did end up cleaning it all up. And I think I um, did catch that in video, how, how it comes apart. And I talk about how I cleaned it. 
and um, show how I mix the paint. People have asked. So I really like that so far. Once my bottle was clean, cleaned up, I just edged around there and I grabbed one of these other wings, the gold wing, and I discovered that I can use the fine liner bottle to go around the wings. And I really like how this just outlines it. Love, love, love my fine liner bottle. Then I think, oh, I can add some more definition with on the wings too. Some more detail. And then I decide I'm just going to add, you know, I want a little pattern on these wings. So I decide to just dot with black on here. And I like that. If this was a bigger dragonfly, using a stencil would work. And I will show that in the upcoming video. But for this tiny little thing, I have no stencil that's so small. I give this a dry. And then I decide that I'm going to come in with gold as well. In the end, I'm not completely happy with it, but I learned an awful lot. And I have a few more ideas of things to try to get the effect that I'm looking for. But it makes a very cute embellishment. After giving this a little time to dry, and you know, it's burlap and material, so you know, I'm kind of it looks like I'm holding it really close, but it's 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 not really that close. But I would be wary about putting it too close in case it would catch start to smoke, I guess. Then I decide I'm gonna do a little bit of splattering with gold just to tie it all in together. Thank you for joining me with this iCAD and look I hope you will ch check out uh, come back and watch the embellishment video that will be coming soon. Bye for now.